Nixie, we know them, we love them, they are the makers of some pretty great Nintendo Switch accessories. Just earlier this year they launched the very successful Wizard Joy-Cons which are in the style of a GameCube controller and over time they've recently sent me quite a few things that I'm going to get into here but the main attraction, the main thing we're going to be featuring is the new Hyperion Pro Meteor Lite controller. It's a new and improved version of the Hyperion. The main difference here is that this has Hall Effect thumbsticks to help avoid drift. This is currently only available in this green color. Green is not usually my thing, but with the gold D-pad, it leads me to believe that this is lightly Zelda themed, though they don't officially market it as such, probably for licensing reasons. But with that in mind, this color combo is actually kind of neat. It also kind of makes me think of Master Chief, but I don't think that's what they're going for here. This is currently available for pre-order with shipments expected to go out November 5th. I will have affiliate links to everything you see here in the description, by the way. Now I have reviewed the Nixie Athenas before, and this is very similar to those, so I'm not gonna run through a fully detailed review, but there is quite a bit to go over. So for the unaware, the Hyperion Joy-Cons are essentially beefier, more controller-like Joy-Cons that you can connect to your Nintendo Switch. You can use them just like regular Joy-Cons, you attach them to your switch and can even charge them connected to your switch but of course the main difference here is that these things are going to feel much more comfortable and trust me i used the athenas for a while even after i did that review you do also have the option of charging each one via usb c on the bottom here it only includes one usb c to usb a cable so if you're planning to go that route you're going to have to charge them only one at a time you've got adjustable levels of rumble gyro controls rgb lighting around the thumbsticks as well as these rgb strips toward the middle you can also use these to wirelessly wake up the switch with the home button and it's important to note these do not have NFC. Now say you don't want to use these as a Joy-Con and you want to use them as a controller, you can totally do that. Each one includes this plastic connector that you can attach the Joy-Cons to and you're basically using these like a full-on controller. And of course if you want you can just hold them separately in each hand. It, they're Joy-Cons, you can do everything with these that you can do with the regular Joy-Cons. You can even hold them sideways if you prefer to do that, although these are definitely not ideal for that, but they do have the little shoulder buttons on the inside. Now the biggest most important feature here is that this has Hall Effect thumbsticks. This is the first of the Hyperion controllers to have Hall Effect thumbsticks. The Wizard had Hall Effect thumbsticks, but none of the Hyperion lines so far. So if you weren't really into the Wizard and the chunkiness of that controller and you wanted something a little more familiar, a little more Xbox or Switch Pro controller style, but you wanted Hall Effect joysticks, your only options were to look elsewhere. But now here they are. Only time will tell whether or not these will eventually drift, but I don't really believe that they will, at least not for a very, very long time. It is really unfortunate that Drift became such a big issue with the official Joy-Cons that everyone is worried about them with every controller. Drift has always been an issue with controllers, but it's just something that was a lot more frequent and happened a lot faster on Joy-Cons. So with that being said, I feel like the Hall Effect thumbsticks here give me some hope that these will last for a good while. You can visibly see that the thumbsticks on this new model are different. In fact, there's quite a few little subtle differences between the Hyperion and the Athena that I didn't even notice at first. Obviously, there's the color. The the face buttons went from this really plain plastic to these really nice almost Xbox controller style buttons with the transparent little windows where you can see the characters inside. The rest of the face buttons, your plus, minus, home, and whatnot are all kind of rounded out now instead of just flat. They feel a little bit clickier, a little bit snappier, but what really feels good is the D-pad. The D-pad on the Athena feels okay, it felt fine, but it was a little bit mushy in comparison to this which is really nice and clicky and responsive. It feels really good, and it feels like there's slightly less travel than on the original. The tips of the thumbsticks is where I have a little bit of an issue. The Athena thumbsticks had these perfect grooves for your thumbs to fit in so that they wouldn't slide off. The edges of the thumbsticks are textured, but the top surface is very smooth and flush. It almost reminds me a bit of how the Steam Deck thumbsticks feel, but even smoother than that, at least those feel a little bit textured. These are just completely smooth. The shoulder buttons are a little bit more narrow and a little less rounded, which gives a little bit more grip. And the triggers are a little bit longer and stick out a little bit more. Even the ML and MR buttons on the back of the controllers just feel better. They're in a better spot, they're better shaped. They're not just these plain rectangular slabs on the back anymore, and they feel good. I definitely recommend picking this up if you want a comfortable Joy-Con that also functions as a wireless controller and has Hall Effect thumbsticks. This is often compared to the Hori split pad, but that is not wireless at all. You have to use that connected to the Switch as Joy-Cons. This doubles as a wireless controller, which also justifies the cost. Now these are on pre-order for $62.99, and if you want to pick them up, again, I'll have that affiliate link in the description. 
and I may just have a coupon code as well to save you a little bit of money. As for the rest of what we have here, some of it's going to be pretty familiar and we're just going to run through most of it pretty quickly. A while back, Nixie also sent me this transparent version of the original Hyperion. These don't have Hall Effect thumbsticks, but I think it would be really cool if they came out with like a frosted transparent version, maybe some different color options for that. Those classic Game Boy and N64 style colors like the transparent purples and blues and whatnot are really popular right now. And I think it would be really cool if maybe Nixie could jump on that and release other colors of the the new pro version with those color schemes. And then of course we have two other colors of the Nixie Wizard. These have been out for a couple months and I was supposed to show them off a while back but it also came around right when I was moving and uh, everything just got pushed back quite a bit. If you're not familiar with these, these are very similar to the Hyperion as far as features, but obviously they're in the style of GameCube controllers. Now the Wizard does have Hall Effect thumbsticks as well, by the way, so if you don't want that Hyperion Pro and you do want something else with Hall Effect thumbsticks, these may be your way to go. These are the same as the Purple Wizard I reviewed a while back, which I'll have linked up here in the corner, but Nixie just launched some other color options, including this nice silver one which resembles the old Wavebird controller. Actually, as of editing this, Nixie just announced they're all also releasing an orange color, so there you go. Now say you want to take your Switch and one of these MIDI controllers on the go. Nixie actually has some carrying cases available that will fit these bad boys while connected to your Switch. We have this carbon fiber style case for $35.99. It's available in light gray, dark gray, which I have here, and blue. This is going to fit the Hyperion, but it's not going to fit the Wizard. You've got your zipper compartment up here for storing your charger and other accessories and what have you, as well as up to 24 games. And there's also a little storage strap here underneath that I imagine you can probably just slide something into, like maybe your power bank, along with a little storage compartment underneath. Now while that version is not going to fit the wizard, this will. Really it looks pretty much the same, it has the same Nixie branding in the corner as the carbon fiber version, except the outside is a woven fabric as opposed to a faux carbon fiber. But these will fit either the Hyperion or the wizard, so if you're ride or die with that wizard Joy-Con and you want to take it on the go with you, this is going to be basically your only option that's going to fit everything together. And the central storage compartment is a little bit deeper as well because the wizards are just so big that they, the whole thing has to be a little deeper. Now this version is actually a little bit cheaper at $32.99. Either one though is a solid option for a tough protective carrying case. Whew, and that is it. That is everything I have here from Nixie. Tons of different accessories and controllers and other stuff available on their website, which again, I will have linked in the description. It's an affiliate link and I will have a discount code in the description as well. So make sure you check that out. It helps support the channel. And with that discount code, it helps save you a little bit of money at the same time. Thank you again to Nixie for sending all of this out and thank you guys for watching. If you don't plan to pick any of this up, but you want to help support the channel for free, you can totally do so by subscribing if you're new, sharing the channel with your friends, sharing this video, liking the video and leaving a nice little comment. What do you think of these? Do you plan to pick any of these up? Have you already used any of these? Are you excited for this green and gold Hall Effect version of the Hyperion? I personally look forward to using this and maybe I'll finally finish Tears of the Kingdom while using these. Who knows? We'll see. All right, guys, that's all the time I have for today. Thanks again for watching and yeah, bye.